They go and they get in their bags and everybody's like, where's Sam? I'm off the resort about, what, a half a mile already? I'm off the resort. Bruh, I got a big ass, I got a pound of weed. I'm in the, I'm in the van with, uh, with all these Jamaicans and machetes chilling, chopping it up, smoking and shit, man. I shit you not. They were like, yo, you ain't supposed to do that. I was like, yo, man, they cool. They cool. Okay. They took right the boat here. around. Now, was kicking right here, it. Right well, cause yeah. I, I already knew. Right, one of one of my big bros is from Ocheria, so I had already heard about it. So I knew the lingo and I knew how to speak. I had a decent patois already from talking with my brother. That's how it started. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna talk with these cats, and then I, my brother he put me on, and the next thing you know, he was like, yo, they usually charge you like forty dollars U.S. for a pound. So I what? went. I went, and I was like. Here's 200 just on GP. Like, yo, y'all cool. Bro, you so asked him for an ass whooping. No, they love me for it. They love me for I it. I know. Because they were like, this nigga broke us off. And I was like, yo, I'll, I'll call you in a couple hours get another one just because like, y'all cool people. And I ended up fucking with them. These motherfuckers brought me 10,000 seeds. And they were like, yo, all females, you cool. I bought the seeds. And my dumb ass didn't even know. I'm going to the motherfucking uh, fly back. And they're like, yo, you got to go through customs. And I'm like, all right, cool, customs, whatever. I go and I put the seeds in my suitcase. We get in, and I'm thinking I'm going to fly into Vegas because, you know, Vegas is legal. I didn't know that we was flying from Jamaica into Florida, and I got to go through customs, get on the next plane. Bro, I shit you not. I got off the plane. They had my bag tagged and everything, and I was waiting to walk by the security guards, and I watched them pull the dude who had the same tag on his bag as me. I turned my ass around, went to the bathroom, dumped all those motherfucking seeds out, man. Ripped the tag off. It struck, it kept my head down, bro. I was so hot. I was so oh hot, man. Oh my god. I was that, hot. That was that was that was kind of crazy right there. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Now I didn't I didn't know the the weed was going for the loop like that out there. Oh, you in Jamaica? Yeah. yeah. I, I had it's no definitely. idea. You know why it goes for the loop? Because it's different. Because you can't get high. No, that's a lie. Depends who you around. Because Jamaica do got some shit. I will tell you that for sure. They, they, they do got some shit. It just depends. Depends on what? It depends on like, like okay, if you're, if you're near Montego Bay, Montego mm -hmm. Bay is more of a tourist zone. Okay. So in a tourist zone, they're going to give you either dirt or they're going to give you fine shit because you know your shit already. Okay. So if you go to Montego Bay, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, oh, I'll give you an ounce for, you know, $15 US. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to up it in their standards. But if you go to like Kingston, mm -hmm. they're going to give you just... The fire. Kingston mm -hmm. is, is is the slums and the streets. Okay. They okay. they go they just like how New York, Chicago, everything, they gonna mm -hmm. they gonna break you off with the good shit. Okay. And in their eyes, they thinking, okay, we we we, we coming up off this nigga, but for us, you know, fifty dollars ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? We paying fifty. No, I need my fifty dollars. I, I paid thirty dollars for an Uber on the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> I need that shit back. <laughs> that was a lot. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a lot. I can't I can't hey. even bro. We shooting now. Oh. We shooting now, right, yeah. Chad? Yeah, yeah, we shooting. Yeah, we shooting. Y'all just still talking. Yeah, exactly. So, how you get the name Somatic? Somatic. All right. So my dad, uh, my dad gave me the name when I was a kid. He, um, he seen that I had a, a strong interest in music, and it was almost addicting. Like I would spend eight, nine hours in the studio trying to, you know, come up with music. So my dad said, "Your name's Sam, and you're an addict." So you're somatic. And I was like, all right, you shit. You a hold on, you an addict. I'm an, I'm an addict for the music. Like I, oh, I was sitting okay. there with music all day. Like I, I You just can't throw addict yeah. out there though, just like that. Yeah. You know, usually when you think of addict, you think of Heron, you nah, think never, of never. motherfucking <laughs> Melf or some shit like that. Why why did he say the word addict? Because he said I'm addicted to music. Like I would literally shut the whole world out. And just be around music, just like as if a person would do with hair on. Mm. I would do that with music. I'd lock myself away, and you won't see me until you call me, and even then, I might not answer. Okay. Do, I, I love my music. Do you smoke with your dad? No, my dad. My dad. I smoked with him one time, one time, and it was a long time ago. And then my dad, he's kind of like anti against the weed. He just go to sleep. He can't. He can't hold his shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he like me. I'm the same way. Yeah. He just yeah. like. I, I was smoking with this girl and whatnot. We were supposed to be fucking and everything. But I, I I got tired and went to sleep and for after she woke up and she was gone. <laughs> I hadn't wasted money on that dinner. Was we gone though. Everything was gone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Everything jewelry, all of that. That's pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Yes. If you wanna rob me, smoke with me. <laughs> <laughs> smoke with me. I woke up butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> By myself, unfucked. You said unfucked, all untouched, yeah, un yeah, no on, bread. Man. Oh, untouchable. <laughs> he said oh, that I was high though. But
but I was high. Yeah, I had that episode. At least you had one win in there. What? What? I mean, you know, L is a half a W. Okay, okay. <laughs> so now I just heard you say just a second ago that, that you were like new to the lifestyle and whatnot and pepper them, uh, like they introduced you to that. Yeah. What, 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 how was you acting before the lifestyle happened and what did you have to adjust to? I'll be honest, man, I was hood. I was hood out of control. Mm -hmm. um, when I first met them, I was I was fresh from uh, Chicago. I just came into LA, and I was uh, I started college and stuff like that. So I was real wild, like dummy wild, and then gang banging, you name it. And you was in a gang? I mean, I was wild. I okay. was wild, man. You know. You still in the gang? I mean, I'm inactive momentarily. I'm okay. inactive. Okay. You know. You, you off today? I'm off today. Okay. <laughs> you know. If they don't call you about no drive by. No, they got to go do that themselves. No, I'm okay, like, cool. I got I got to call somebody else from the cast like Boogie or something. Mm -hmm. might do it. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Boogie might, down for a drive. Boogie down now. for it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, as far as adjusting, I I had to um, I, already being where I was from, you know, you know, born in Washington and then raised in Chicago, I had to learn how to be quiet and and observe. But even changing to this lifestyle, I had to learn to be quiet and observe a lot more mm -hmm. because you. Know, that, I want you to skip you know, over that because I, I need you to give me a situation where you got checked. Well, Cause I got you, was too, you was too hood, like, hey, 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 look, 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 calm that bullshit down. We getting, we, we, this is our, we, we, we on TV. Mm. We, 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 uh, people look at us a certain kind of way. We don't act like that. I got checked for uh, on Masterpiece Boat, um, cause me and Tyran, which is Egypt's brother, Pep's son, we got into an altercation with each other. With each other, and I threw the table and snapped. Hold, the table. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got into it with with, with your uh, fiance's brother. Yeah, future brother-in-law. Get the fuck out! What he was like, man, niggas, you fucking my sister? Huh? It, I wish that would have been the context, man. It was more along the lines of you tried to elope with my sister, but that wasn't even my idea. It was more like that was your sister's idea, and I just was like chilling. You know what I'm saying? So what was this? What he, he what, what what was he upset about that? If that makes them happy, he said that I I, I should have asked him. And so you got to tell you got to get his her brother permission pretty much to get married. That that's how he put it. How old he? Is? He twenty eight. He only two years older than me. Two years. <laughs> okay, he tried a little brother you. Pretty much, and then I'm, I'm a lot bigger than him too. So ain't you bigger like, than him? Like he, the nigga can fight though. I will okay. tell you that he's okay. got hands. Okay. But at the same time, it was like, hey man, come on. What you mean I gotta ask you? Yeah. Did, did, did you say yeah. that too? Like. The fuck you think you is telling me I got to ask you? I told him I got time today, and I threw my bag down and I threw the table. I didn't. I didn't do too much talking that day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a different. Kind How of did y'all resolve that? Uh, Pep checked us. Said mm. uh, she checked me more. So she said we don't act like that. You ain't in the hood no more. Mm. That ain't your mentality. And um, we, you know, especially on masterpiece Bo, he wasn't too happy about that. It was his yacht. Oh, he heard about it. Yeah. What, oh, he say something to you? He was there, so I mean. Oh, he was right there. Yeah, he didn't. Hey, let me tell you something about Master P. <laughs> I've seen this nigga like handle business himself on movie sets and and check the fuck out of niggas. He's pretty good at doing that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah he he don't fuck around. Hey, word to the wise, don't fuck around with Master P. That part. He's not the one. Yeah. Or the two. That part. Yes. Yeah. So uh, how did y'all end up resolving it and whatnot and getting to a place where? Uh, you had understanding about this whole eloping situation. Uh, after Pep sat down with us and, and talked to us about it, she made it very clear that, you know, um, that definitely isn't the route. And that wasn't our route in t initially. You know, a lot of people, they thought that the eloping situation was like, you know, we were just really trying to get married. But I think Egypt, she had felt a, a kind of a lot of impulse from pressure from our family. So she just wanted people to accept me that, because, you know, I'm different. You know, I'm not from the same side of the tracks and a lot of people they look at and think that somebody's an opportunist just because they ain't born from wealth. They thought you was gold digging, bro. They still do. I to this day. Cause you, cause you golden. Gold cause you golden. Just, I'm just a golden cat, but I ain't a gold digger, you know. Okay. I'll okay. be chilling. So you don't be doing no opportunistic type shit nah, around them, right? Never. What could be misconceived as you being opportunistic around them? Well, like, like, I mean, do it. What kind of mannerisms you be having sometimes? My mannerisms uh, is, uh, like I said, man, I'm, a, I'm addicted to my music. So. The uh, mixtape? It's an uh, album. It, oh, uh, you, you coming out swinging? Came, coming out swinging, man. I got an album coming out. It's called Mainstream. It's dropping February 8th on my birthday. Mm -hmm. And when I say it's it's definitely, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's a big middle finger to the industry, mm -hmm. just being honest with you. I basically, uh, I went to a, a record label 
which was E1, and I talked to them about um, working with them, and the guy said that my music was necessarily not all over the place, but he said, no, nothing you make sounds the same. And that's kind of what I aim for. I don't want to sound like anything. Mm -hmm. or, every track has its own personality. Mm -hmm. But he asked me, he said, that's man, dope. make five tracks like this. And mm -hmm. he picked a specific track. So mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I'm going to go in and make an album for everything that's hot on the top 100. Every okay. style of music, whether okay. it's bilingual or whether it's, you know, trap, pop, mm -hmm. you know, whatever style. And I, I literally, every track is named Mainstream 1, Mainstream 2, Mainstream 3. That's All double. the way down just to show people like, hey, this is a mainstream album that says, hey, I got one of everything you like on. Well, features. Or you is it all about you? I got some features. I got Egypt on a few features. I know you did. She 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 was with it. Mm -hmm. I was like, After that right. porridge. At that porridge did it. Okay. That porridge did it. And then I, I got features breakfast. from uh from a cat named uh Ah Boy Neef. He's mm -hmm. uh, out of Washington State, man. Very, very talented. Another artist. nigga from Washington State. Oh man, he's talented. Okay. Bro is talented. You putting Washington on the map, you know that, right? Putting a few, man. You putting Washington on the map. Niggas don't talk about Washington, bro. I got a few, man. Okay, and I like I got this. one big uh, feature that I just... Um, you throw up a W with it? You... See, I, I'm more of, since... Yeah, you know, I can't... I'm more of... I throw, I throw these ones, huh? That's, that's him. That's just him. I throw these ones. That's just him. Yeah. This is me right here. You know? But no, um, I got a feature from... Uh, from Tretch that's supposed to be on the album. So Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. We just literally talked about it recently, so we're we're sitting down and that's another reason why I'm in New York. We're, we're gonna have some fun. And okay, it's gonna be I a can good dig. album. Very good album. Man, I appreciate you pulling up disfitted.com, man. Oh man, I love it. Thank you for having me. Man, man the pleasure's all mine. Is there anything you wanna say to our, our, our audience before we get about you? I mean Tune in, man. Jack Thriller's the shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I done had a good time with him. He's fun. I hear also he's gonna be on tour with Martin Lawrence, right? In real life. In real life. In real Killing life. Killing it. So yeah. make sure y'all get your tickets to tune in and then follow me at Somatic, y'all, on Instagram and all online platforms. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're really something you gotta be, man. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. And don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. <laughs>